All right, so we opened with a loss of over 100 points. Now we have a loss of 35 points. I'm going to say it again, we have narrowed the loss. Now, look, any avid viewer of this program knows that I'm no big fan of Europe. Far from it. Negative interest rates, open borders, you name it, they've got a problem. But for some <laughs> reason, our next guest just loves Europe so much that it hurts. That's his word. Ouch. The man himself, Ryan Payne. He's the one who said this, aren't you? I did. I so did. wait, 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 wait. You actually want, you, you manage people's money. Yes. It's hard to believe. You, yes. Wait, wait, yes, it is. And you want to put some of your clients' money into Europe? Well, let's just talk about how crazy it is right now and why I love it so much because it hurts. And think about it this way. First off, $70 billion plus have come out of European funds this year. So right. it's a very unloved place to be. It's all come here. It's all come here, but also you have $14 trillion worth of negative securities and bonds yeah. globally. And people are putting their money there, right? Crazy. All the while, you can take the biggest blue chip European companies. I'm talking like HSBC, BP, GlaxoSmithKline, right? Mm. These are the bluest of blue companies. Uh, they're large. They have a you know, global client base, not just the U.S., but they, they sell globally. And that's where the U.S. is a little bit of a disadvantage because we sell mainly to the U.S. 70% of the earnings in the S&P okay. came from the U.S. But right now, you're getting, if you just bought an index of these stocks, you're getting 5.5% just in dividends forward-looking. But that's paid in euros, isn't it? Uh, it is paid in euros, but that's, that's on well, a U.S. dollar equivalent, for? though. But that's in a U.S. dollar equivalent. That means that's oh, what okay. you'll receive in U.S. dollars right now. So, you know, depending on what happens with U.S. dollar from here, I don't have a crystal ball, but, you know, all things equal today, so, hold on, five so, and a half percent. Okay, no, no, that, I do find that interesting. Okay. So you're telling me that I can... <laughs> you <laughs> twisted my arm a little bit here. Yes. So you're telling me I can invest in an index fund, and the index would be of major blue-chip European companies. Exactly. And that fund will pay me... Five and a half percent dividend. And it gets better. <laughs> Go yeah. ahead. The valuation's like half these big blue chip tech companies everyone's putting their money into right now in the U.S. So you're getting a multiple right now that's half the, the price. So you're getting this stuff on sale. So that's a big margin of safety just to buy these companies. Okay, uh, that's not bad, actually, Ryan. I was having a go at you there with a funny graphic we put up on the air. But I okay, it makes some sense. Sure. Extraordinary. Sense, <laughs> oh, what a guy. And now, here's stock of the day, the week, the oh, month. There it is. Uh, <laughs> there's the graphic, by the way. <laughs> look, we spent a lot of money making that thing, yeah. so we're going to keep it right there. Okay. there goes, Who the knew budget. I looked so handsome in a mustache? Uh, <laughs> stock of the day, Beyond Meat. <laughs> Uh, the, the company is taking, the stock is taking a hit right mm -hmm. now uh, because they've got this secondary offering. Three yes. and a quarter million shares that they're going to issue at some point in the future. The stock's now down 4.8%. What do you think of Beyond Meat? I think it's an, a, a crazy multiple right now, right? Right now it has a value that's larger than Campbell's Soup, which, you know, has 33 times more revenue than Beyond <laughs> Meat. I mean, it's insane. Yeah. So I would say right now, buyer beware when you see that the insiders are trying to dump their shares on the open market. It's not because it's a good deal right now. But there's this thing called FOMO, fear yes. of missing out. I have that fear because I don't want to miss out of this brave new industry, which in the future I think will probably be a, be a big deal. I think you might be right, but you got to remember most IPOs actually underperform for the next five years, the overall market, because they come out of these crazy multiples. Even Amazon, when it first came out, went down 90% at one point. You'll get a better chance to buy these, you know, hold off on the FOMO. You'll have better opportunities in the future to buy a lot of these IPOs. Hold on a second for me, Ryan. I want to All deal right. with Apple because they report after the closing bell today, Deirdre Bolton's with us. I don't know why the camera's on Ryan. He's at his moment of glory. <laughs> no, so. but he has the better graphic. He has yes. the beret. He has the baguette. We can get you a mustache too, dear. Okay, let's do, it. let's do it. What are we expecting okay, from Apple? So there's really three questions. This company is in transition, right? So how severe is the iPhone sales drop? That's a huge question. Are the services continuing to grow? Are we all buying apps and everything else, music? And then what are the extras? Back to school. Are kids buying Macs? Are they buying iPads? How are uh, the Apple? watch is selling. So those are really the three questions, but we have to underline the company is in transition, right? There's only so much we are willing to pay for any one of these. Mm. And across the world, especially in China, for example, it seems mm. like the middle class in China is not willing to pay $1,000 a phone, especially when they can get cheaper phones that are almost as good or 
just serve their needs over there. So right. that's, uh, you know, we're looking at 210 a share, 53.39 billion. In okay, revenue. Ryan Payne still sitting here with me. Would you buy Apple now, before the earnings, at $208 a share? Well, Deidre, just bummed me out, but I think what you have to look <laughs> at here is they have 1.2 billion people using their smartphones, and that whole ecosystem is just a tremendous opportunity to sell them other services. That's the future. In fact, I think, you know, services should go up by like 20% this quarter year over year. So things, that's what you have to look for is like, what other things are they going to sell them in their ecosystem? Not, it's not about the iPhone. Yeah, video but you like games it at 208. You like yeah. it? 208, you like it. I like it. Okay, got it. Got to move on. Stay, by the way, stay with Fox Business. Full coverage of Apple's earnings. I get, the camera's still on this guy. Get it off. Come on. Come, I'm the guy here. Uh, 4 p.m. Eastern this afternoon. Check out the Apple earnings. Now, put me back on. Next case. Uh, they 